This homework problem is an example of the multiplication counting rule. It states a social security number consists of nine digits in a particular order and repetition of digits is allowed. So that's very important that the repetition of digits is allowed. After seeing the last four digits printed on a receipt, if you randomly select the other digits, what is the probability of getting the correct social security number of the person who was given the receipt? So social security numbers consist of nine digits and we already saw the last four. We saw the last four digits. We needed to find out how many possible arrangements are there for the first five digits. Well, each digit could be between zero and nine, giving us 10 options for each one of those digits. So if we want to figure out the total number of arrangements we can have, we're going to use the multiplication counting rule. So we have five digits, one, two, three, four, five. Now the first digit can be anything between zero and nine. So that's 10 total options. And we multiply it by. Now the second digit, since repetition is allowed, the second digit, you also have 10 options from zero to nine. Third, the same thing. Fourth, same as well. And then the fifth, you also have 10 options. So what we have here is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So if we multiply those out together, I'm just gonna go ahead and add these zeros. We get 100,000. Okay, so this is the total amount of arrangements we could have for the first five digits. Now, the probability of us getting it right, well, only one of those 100,000 options would be correct. 100,000 arrangements. Only one of them would be correct. So our probability of getting it correct would be one out of 100,000. Let's go ahead and type that in.